All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Minor Planets expansion mod, which is being made by user Exo's Lab. And what this glorious little piece of Forge looks to add into the game is a lovely little selection of new celestial bodies for our current solar system, adding in cool things like asteroids and planetoids for you to explore and I love this thing. So let's uh, jump into the tracking station and have a look at what we do get. Now, while we uh, zoom out to the new extents of our solar system here, I should, of course, point out that there are two required mods to get this to function properly, those being Copernicus and Kitopia Tech. Now, with those installed, you'll have a lot of new celestial bodies to go and explore, as you can see from all of the new orbits all over the place here, including this gigantic elongated orbit here, which is wonderful, and one of the more interesting places to explore with this new mod. Now, I should add here that uh, all of these uh, various bodies have been added in in orbits technically past Duna. As you can see with uh, this one right here, it does sort of swing into the inner part of the star system, but uh, if you just tab from the sun and head outward, you get nothing new until you pass Duna and Ike. And the first of our new celestial bodies is 433 Edis, which is a tiny little thing at one kilometer in radius with a gravity of 0.0059 g's with no atmosphere to speak of and is based off of the real world Eros. And it is a lovely little thing, kind of looks like a kidney bean, but a nice tiny little asteroid there. Now next, moving on, we have Vant, which is quite a bit larger at 69 kilometers in radius with a gravity of 0.049 g's. No atmosphere to speak of yet again. In fact, there's only one body in this that's added that does have atmosphere, which I'll point out later. And it's based off of the real world Vesta. And I've mentioned it twice now, and that is uh, a fun part about this mod. All of these, except for one, are based off of real things. Now, after Vant, we're going to actually have to pass the orbit of Drez to hit Zor. And uh, Zor is well, another fairly small one, 35 kilometers in uh, size, with a gravity of 0.049 g's. Once more, no atmosphere to speak of, and its real-world counterpart is Psyche. Now, then after that, we're going to have to head past uh, the orbit of uh, Joule to hit up 68P Lint slash Mikey, which is another tiny one at one kilometer in size of its radius with a gravity of, oh boy, 0.00015Gs, again, no atmosphere, with its real world analog being 67P. Now then, we're going to have to pass the orbit of Elu to hit one of my favorites here. Kroxlev, which is another small one at 33 kilometers in radius with a gravity of 0.025 g's with no atmosphere and its real world analog being Cheriklo. But my favorite part about it, if we zoom out a little, it's got a ring. It's a tiny little body with a tiny thin little ring. And you guys know me, I love a good ring. Now, after that, we do have 1P. Gato, which is another tiny one at one kilometer in size with a gravity of 0.0003 G's, no atmosphere, and its real world analog is Halley's Comet. Now, next we have by far my favorite of the celestial bodies in this, Havis. Now, it's uh, quite a bit larger than we've seen previously. We're at 117 kilometers in radius with a gravity of 0.143 g's, no atmosphere, and its real-world analog being Hume. And, of course, I love it because not only is it a weird oblong shape, but again, a freaking ring, and that is just gorgeous. Now, of course, it also is large enough that it has two moons. The first is... 
Cal at three kilometers in a radius with a gravity of a 0.00085 G's. No atmosphere and its real world analog being Namaka. Just a nice small little rock through space. Then we have the moon of Kiki, a little bit larger at five kilometers in size. A lot more interesting to look at there. Very cool shape. Gravity of 0.0016 Gs, no atmosphere, and it's real world. And long being Hayaka, I'm probably mispronouncing that, but moving on to the next celestial body of Meraxis, another larger one at 72 kilometers in radius with a gravity of 0.121 Gs, no atmosphere, and its analog being Make Make. I think I got that one right, and I love the coloring on this one. That beautiful rust and uh, black color to it is a very cool. And being larger, it too does have a moon, much like uh, Havis had back there. This one, of course, being Flake. A tiny little one at two kilometers in size. It's just a small little ball of ice with a gravity of 0.003 Gs, no atmosphere, and its analog being MK2. Now our next celestial body and the largest in this pack is Ervo with a radius of 192 kilometers a gravity of 0.162 Gs. This one actually does have an atmosphere. It's wonderful. Its analog, though, is Eris. And uh, I love the look of this thing. It's just a very thin atmosphere planet with a very cool, like, streak of ice. Fun one. And large enough for a moon of RK, which is 55 kilometers in radius with a gravity of 0 0.06 Gs, does not have an atmosphere, and its real world analog is Dysnomia. A lovely place, a lot of cool topography on this one, a lot of great little pop marks, etc. Just a fun little moon. Now we then move on to that really irregular orbited world of. Sodin, which, oh, just looks gorgeous. It's, I think, the most beautiful of all of them in here. With a uh, radius of 61 kilometers, so on the larger end in this pack. Gravity of 0.1 Gs. No atmosphere. It's a real-world analog is Sedna. And again, it is gorgeous. Has a cool orbit and does have our final celestial body, the moon of Lone, which is back to being tiny, five kilometers in radius, gravity of 0 0.002 Gs, no atmosphere, and actually doesn't have a real world analog. It's the only one in the pack without one, but it does look quite cool. Almost like a ball that has exploded on two sides or something like that. It is a wonderful. And yeah, this little pack of celestial bodies is just gorgeous. I really do love the quality on these things. They are some really awesome looking planets. By far, as I said before, if we actually head back to it real quick, my personal favorite of Havis. There it is. It's just such a cool shape to this world, plus the amazing ring, and it has two cool little moons for you to go and explore, so it's a tiny little system unto itself. And just... Oh, look at that. Not only is it cool shaped and looking that way, but then you have the cool sort of uh, other side of the planet here with the much different coloring, a very sharp uh, change to the terrain. By far, I think the most interesting one in this whole pack. It is just so cool. So let's actually jump to my little ship here. We have in orbit around it to get a bit of a look at it and to also point out the one weird bug I have had with this mod, and that is probably pretty obvious, the flickering of the ring. This also happens on the other ringed uh, planetoid that we have. If you do zoom out, it eventually, there it goes, stops flickering. But yeah, when you're zoomed in closer to your vessel, it uh, it definitely starts flashing there, which if whew, is not great, especially if you have uh, prone to some uh, medical conditions out there. But yes, that's my one real issue that I have with this mod. All the other little planetoids and asteroids seem to work just fine, but the two rings I've had flickering issues with. Which, I mean, once you're landed, it's not much of a problem. Once you're far away, it's not much of a problem. It's just as you get closer to them, they begin to flash. But overall, it's still a beautiful 
beautiful planet pack with a lot of great stuff to it. And one of the coolest little worlds I think I've actually seen in quite a while. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod pack for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for this one, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.